Hey everyone, it's Pete from Blocks Builder, and in this video, we're going to give you a glimpse of our brand new custom brick called Easy Copyright. And here I have um, an example project that many of you would have seen in some of our other videos. And we don't have any copyright information at the bottom of this project at all. But we're going to solve that today with our Easy Copyright brick. So I'm going to go back to our canvas down to the bottom and I have prepared this empty um, column, single column at the bottom of our global footer and I'm going to add our Easy Copyright brick. So after you've installed it you'll see the Easy Copyright brick here. It's quite obviously just a nice big copyright symbol, easy to find and you can search for it in the search bar here. And by default we get this sort of styling here where it just says Copyright XXX Blocks Builder. If you go and preview this, it will show our current year. Copyright 2020 Blocks Builder. And our Easy Copyright will always display the current year. Now we have a bunch of settings for our copyright brick. If we go and have a look here, with our brick selected, we can add a start year, a company name, it defaults to Block Builder. Hey, why not? We can... Um, Enable disable copyright text, add additional text, link to a page, if, um, change some alignment issues, add a custom class. So we've got a bunch of options we've got here and I'm just going to go through each one of them to give you an idea of what this looks like. So say for example my project or my website went live in 2019 and I could put 2019 here at the bottom of our uh, canvas here you can see our brick has changed and we now have copyright 2019 to 2020. Now there's a bit of smarts here. If for example our current year is 2020 and I launch my website on 2020, it will only display our current year, copyright 2020. We can change the name of our business, our company or, or any name you want there. We can add or remove our copyright text. Uh, so if I remove it, you can see down at the bottom here, we get our copyright symbol with the current year, or we can enable it. We can add some additional text in this text field here. Another cool thing, and you can see down there, we have our additional text down the bottom. Another cool thing here about our text field here is that we can add markup. So I could put some um, A tags here around Blocks Builder. This is obviously not the full markup, but if we come down here, we can see our Blocks Builder has now become a link. Our third option that we got here is a link to page. Now, I would recommend making sure you don't actually have any links in your markup when you select this option and mainly because it can have a strange effect. So I'm going to select link to page and then it will list all the pages of my project available. So I'm going to have link to page and I'm going to set to iPhone. And as you see down the bottom of our canvas here is that all our copyright text has now been turned into a link. Let's have a preview of that. There we go. There's our copyright text. It's all one link. And if I select it, we'll go to our iPhone page. Awesome. Very easy. The next option we have, and I'll just unlink our link to page, is that we can set the alignment of our text to a left align. And you can see that down the bottom here. Center, right align. If you've got lots of text, you can use justify. The default is center. And our last option is adding a custom class. Now, when you add a custom class, it will remove the effect of the alignment option. As you can see, as I start typing, it actually disappears. But just before we apply a class, I'm going to go to the Class Edit Manager and I'm going to create a new class and we're going to call that Copyright. Something nice and original. And I'm going to open that class up. And you can see here I've got my Copyright class and I'm going to edit, apply it to our Copyright brick. I just need to type the name of the class in, click the apply class button and now you can see there's no formatting at all on this. 
Um, so we can change our font size here. Let's change it to 1.2 rems and you can see it changing below there. We can change our line height. Let's do one point, maybe 1.6. The good thing is, is we can change this per breakpoint, which gives us lots of control. We can align our text to the center. Let's change the color to, how about a green? And we'll increase the weight of our font. Right, let's have a look at that. Right, there we see our easy copyright all styled up, showing copyright, current year, our company name, and some additional text. That's it. Hope you find Easy Copyright an excellent brick to add to your projects. You can head to blocksbuilder.com and download your copy today.